Hi everyone and assalamu alaikum, Ramadan Mubarak. Today I'm, I'm going to show you a nice and easy recipe for lamb samosas. So here are the ingredients. I've got some plain flour here with a quarter of a cup of melted butter, half a kilo of lamb mince, a bowl of boiled potatoes, that's two large potatoes diced into small pieces, a bowl of peas, one large onion chopped with two green chilies, a spoon of crushed chilies, and the other dried spices are some cumin, zebra, and I'm using ginger and garlic powder today instead of fresh. So let's start the recipe. So we're gonna start off by making the dough for the samosas. So I'm using plain flour, two and a half cups. Measure that out first. <clears throat> so you need a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of salt to that. And I've got a Joanne seeds here. You just need half a teaspoon of that. So before you put the water in, just thoroughly mix this, the salt and the Joanne seeds. And I've got melted butter here. You can use oil as well. This is four to five tablespoons. That comes about a quarter of a cup. So I'm just gradually adding that and then rubbing it into the... So just use your hands like this and rub that in so all the plain flour can absorb all the butter. So you're kind of getting like a... You'd make a short crust or pastry, get all the flour crumbly first. So the butter is nicely mixed in now, so I'm just going to get some water. Just got a cup of water, but I'm going to add the water gradually to see about how much it needs. You want to make a nice firm dough like you do for chapatis. I've used half a cup of water and now it come, it's all come together. So I'm just gonna make a nice ball and just knead it a little bit. So I'm going to leave this aside for about 20 minutes so the dough can set and uh, we'll make the filling. <clears throat> just put a cloth on top or a plate, just cover it. I'm just going to add one spoon of oil some zira first to just get a nice uh, aroma 
spices. So it's about a spoon of zebra. chili to fry. So you just want to soften these a little bit and then we'll add the quinoa. I'm adding the lamb mince now. This is plain lamb mince. So that's why I'm putting them in there. So you're just trying to get this cooked when the meat changes colour then we'll add the rest of the vegetables in. I'm just adding a spoon of salt to this and the crushed chilli is a spoon. I'm just going to use a little bit of um, chili powder, but not a lot because I put green chilies in later after I've cooked this. And I'm not using any water in this today, it's just going to cook in the meat, so. Uh, and onion water, so. Because the uh, lamb mix is very uh, fine, it will cook in the pan without water. So I'm using a spoon of garlic powder, you can use fresh as well but um, when you're making a filling the garlic powder and paste is fine and a spoon of ginger powder. the meat is cooking now it's changing colour it's smelling really nice with the cumin and chilies. I'm putting half a spoon of Bissard chili powder. You can use black pepper if you want to as well but I think in lamb this tastes better. So we're just trying to dry up all the liquid in the quinoa and then I'll add the potatoes and peas. I'm adding the peas first because the potatoes are already boiled and these aren't. They're just frozen peas, so I'm adding them first. bowl of potatoes now. So just need to cook this for about a further five minutes. Everything just gets mixed together and all the liquid is dried out. You just need a nice dry filling for the samosas. See now the liquid's nearly dried up, so it just needs a few more minutes when it's then I'm gonna shut it off and cool it down. So the quinoa looks nice and dry and done now. I'm gonna transfer it into a bowl and put it in the fridge freezer to cool down. You need like a small sized 
uh, dough ball, not too big. It's just in the palm of my hand because uh, the thinner the pastry, the smaller will be better. You don't want a thick uh, pastry smosa. So I've made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of these of two and a half cups of flour. I'm just rolling the dough out the thinnest I can. I'm not making like a really big samosa, medium size. So that's about the size that I want. I've made all the dough balls into little chapatis and I'm just going to put them in the pan for a few seconds so when I fill the smoke it will be easier for me if they're just a little bit firm. <coughs> so I'm just cooking the roti for a few seconds on a hot pan. Um, it doesn't need cooking like a chapati just so it can go firm and that will help you and be easier when you do the thinning. So it's just for like two seconds each, then you take it off. So do that to all of them and then we'll start filling. So put a tea towel on top so the chapatis don't go dry. So now all the samosa rotis are ready. I'm going to cut them in the middle to make them into halves.
boiling the kadai and I'm just waiting it to heat up. And uh, samosas, you have to fry them on a medium heat because you want the pastry to be cooked perfectly. If you put it in too much hot oil, then they will fry quickly and burn. I'm putting the samosas in now. Uh, the oil looks a bit hot now, so. So you can see the pastry is puffing up, that's a good sign. That means I've put the right amount of butter in it. I'll just turn them over slightly. these now and I've took them out and I just want to show you how nice and flaky the pastry is so I'm just going to open one it's very hot just want to show you 